McCoy and Arenas are deep to receive for Alabama. Talk about how important it is for Tennessee to compete early, and that includes every phase, even this opening kickoff. From the very first play, they've got to prove they're ready to play Alabama in this game. Arenas is averaging 26 yards a return. But McCoy will take it at the 14-yard line. Across the 25. Stop short of the 30. And thrown back. Let's check in with Holland. Coffee will go in motion, so an empty backfield for John Parker Wilson. Four-man rush set to throw first down. Complete to his big tight end, Nick Walker. Coffee is the running back. He has been terrific this year. Wilson to throw again. Julio Jones, the freshman wide receiver into Tennessee territory. John Parker Wilson, they wanted him to take a more business-like approach this year. He has done that and more. Coffee down to the 40-yard line. They could make a great statement for this game with a stop here. They love to run behind the left tackle and left guard. Instead, it's a quarterback keeper right up the middle. The spot is going to be enough for a first down. Coffee in motion again. This is a screen. Up church. 25. 21-yard line. Another first down. And Alabama gets off to that fast start that they covet and puts Tennessee in a 3-0 hole with 10-18 to go first quarter from Knoxville. Arian Foster will get to start at tailback. And he gets the first carry. And Foster picks up about eight. Yard and a half to go on third down. Stevens to throw, goes underneath, has enough, I think, or maybe not. No, I think he's short. It does look short. It was the tight end, Brandon Warren. Your defense has been your strength all year. Don't help Alabama. Colquitt gets it out of there. Javier Arenas has to backpedal. That's beautiful. There it is. Tennessee had a best shot at it. They got it. He'll get the call. Flags are down. It's a dead ball penalty. It's going to back Tennessee out of there, I think. Part to the snap. False start. 79. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains first half. Alabama shows blitz, and they come and down at the 15-yard line. Goes yeah. Nick Stevens, Rashad Johnson, the safety, just blew in there. Hardest he tried. He recognized it and dove for yeah. the guy's legs, but he couldn't get there. Now you have to realign that guy. Yep. Daniel Lincoln for the field goal. And at least Tennessee gets a three out of it. It would have been a nightmare for them had they converted nothing out of that fumble recovery. P.J. Fitzgerald will punt. Dennis Rogan is back near his 25 to receive. Returnable kick. But he'll signal for a fair catch and make it at 20. Todd, Tennessee has had the ball three times. They have three points, but they don't have a first down. Colquitt, shank it. Awful punt. Something you don't see out of any of the Colquitts. So many unbelievable games between these teams and any rivalry in the SEC. John Parker Wilson to Jones. And the freshman picks up 13 yards. And Washington, without Jake Locker, they're just dreadful. Coffee lost his balance, goes down at the 26. What do you think of the game plan so far? I mean, they're coming up throwing a lot more than yeah. I thought they would. And now Tiffin from 43. He has already hit from 39. He's been true on both long field goal tries. If he tries to put it on the sideline again. There's another good one. He's had two good ones and one bad one. Arenas hammered again. 
as he got to the 30-yard line. 46-yard punt, no return. And John Parker Wilson has only hit two out of his last nine. He started four for four. Fitzgerald to punt to Rogan. No chance. Excellent kick coverage by both ball clubs tonight. A loss of one after a 49-yard punt. You got an experienced offensive line to do it. Pressure coming on Stevens. They go screen the other way. Blockers in front. And that's very, very close to a first down for Brandon Warren. Holly, good job. Hard to see the tailback on third and short. First down, Tennessee. It occurs at the 13 4 mark of the second quarter. Plus, they've got to have a decent drive. That defense has been on the field an awful lot. Stevens on a roll, throws, complete. Gain of nine, got it to Briscoe. For a gain of nine, Woodall took him out of bounds. Noel Mazzoni was out of a Ole Miss, and he changed to Tennessee or Michigan. One of those two. This will be the second straight first down. They're not getting a lot, but Montario Harvesty got enough on that one. They thought they took a step forward last week, but this is Alabama, not Mississippi State. Third and six for Stevens. They come with a blitz. He throws underneath, complete. They're going to mark it just shy of a first down. Lucas Taylor made the catch, and Kareem Jackson was there. Colquitt, who missed the first five games, suspended for a DUI. Back and kicking as well as ever, it appears. Beautiful. And Tennessee will down it at the three. So Fitzgerald will come on and kick out of his own end zone. And Rogan stands near midfield. They almost got there. In fact, it may have been yeah, actually is. blocked. It was. Tennessee gambles and wins. Montario Hardesty comes through and gets a piece. The kick is only 20 yards. Lincoln has the leg. From here, it would be about 48 yards. He can certainly do that. A little flanker screen. They're going to lose your So you come up with a conservative call. Denarius Moore on the flanker screen. But Ali, Ali Sharif makes the tackle. This will be a 51-yard field goal try. Lincoln has already hit a short one. And this one is well short. His longest this season, 47. Last year, his longest, 48. They took over the last time at the three. Now they're out near the 34. John Parker Wilson on first down. Jones, he was wide open on a post. He's into Tennessee territory. And a kid that the coaches really like because they say he wants to get better. So he's willing to work hard. John Parker Wilson and Jones again to the 12-yard line. Well, there is some pushing and shoving there, and normally this doesn't go against the offense. First and 10 at the Tennessee 12. Coffee picks up nearly five yards. The market just outside the seven yard line. McCoy and Jones, the wide receivers to the left side. Back the other side to Coffee. Coffee inside the five, near the two. You've got to reach the two for a first down. Wilson on the tackle again. Off the left side, Coffee. Touchdown. Mike Johnson, the left guard, was the guy who really cleared it out. He really glides when he runs. Alabama crowds the line of scrimmage. Draw play. Out to the 31 for Foster. Everything's relative. Yes, it is. Hard to see again. Uh -uh. He smeared. Second effort might have got it. Marcel Darius drilled him but couldn't hold him. And that is a clutch run by Arian Foster. Have a chance to get the ball back here. Deep post. Perfect throw. Big catch by Stocker. This would be huge if Tennessee can get anything out of this. Stevens again. 
first down and more out of bounds at the 23-yard line. They're in field goal territory. Stevens completes another one. This one down to the 14-yard line. Rodgers made the catch. They'll stop it temporarily. They send out only one wide receiver, Quentin Hancock. He's the man in motion. Now they toss it to Hardesty. There's a flag down. That is in the area where you would think it's a hole. Yep. Illegal formation. Only six men on the line of scrimmage on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Third down. And now they have to throw. Five-man rush. Stevens with time. Throws underneath. That's a first down. Another flag to the nine-yard line. Lucas Taylor makes the catch. It wasn't on the guy who caught the football. It was on Luke Stocker, the tight end, I believe. 88. Interference. Number 12. Offense. Oh, 15 no, yards. Remains third down. And now you've got to be careful that this play doesn't last forever and run the clock out. Blitz coming. They throw underneath. And a call timeout Green right down to the 26, and they will get the timeout. Bobby Greenwood makes the tackle. Lincoln to make it a one-touchdown game. And he's wide left. That is a killer. Philip Fulmer watches his team march down, get into chip shot field goal territory, commit two penalties, and push back to a much longer try, and then they miss it. Let's go to Holly Rowe. I think this drive right here is very important for Tennessee to establish something with their offense. Play action fake. There goes the opportunity. <laughs> Colquitt to kick to Arenas. No rush. Line drive kick. Arenas across midfield as a seam. Got a great block. Cuts back again. What a return by Arenas. And this could be a dagger if they can finish this drive with a touchdown. Coffee hasn't had much room to run tonight. He's down to the 27 on this one. A gain of five. They're about as good as there is out there right now. They part are. of its talent, part of its scheme, but they are good. They are pretty tough. Coffee on the delay. Just tripped up. Should have enough for a first down. Out of the shotgun, Tennessee shows a five-man front. They back out of it. John Parker Wilson throws. They're going to rule that complete at the 14-yard line. Lee Tiffin with his shortest field goal try of the night. This one only from 30 yards. He's perfect on this one as well. So Tiffin has hit three, and Alabama extends its lead to 16-3 over Tennessee. So they will have to kick it away, and you see they're talking to Briscoe on the sideline. Arenas, who had that nice return last time, waiting for Colquitt's kick. This is a beauty. See how much higher it forces the fair catch. Same part of the field, but to get the hang time that time, Arenas has to fair catch it. Play action, John Parker Wilson again on first down. This is when he has yeah. had a chance to throw an awful lot tonight, and McCoy will make the catch. You don't know what somebody said to him that made him smile. Jones spins to stay in bounds, get, gets to midfield. They almost need somebody on this defense to step up and make a big play. There's a ball on the ground. He was down. At first blush, it looked like he was down. Well, it was good penetration regardless by Tennessee. The ruler on, ruling on the field is that the runner was down. It was great penetration by the interior of the defense, and Ingram was hit in the backfield. There's the penetration by Bolden. Now, was his body down before the ball came out? To review the ruling on the field is confirmed. The runner was down before he fumbled the ball. Second down. I think, I just don't think it was conclusive enough yeah. to overturn it. And this 
is movement on the Alabama front wall. Yeah, a late shift by the Tennessee defense going into a pressure front. Dead ball, ball start, 71 offense, five yard penalty remains second down. John Parker Wilson, quick throw. From the Tennessee 44. John Parker Wilson has a man open, throws complete first down. That one is to Brad Smelly, the fifth string tight end. That is a huge series of down. Here goes up church. Up ended at the 26. Up church again. And if you do come in and throw on first down, it makes it so much harder for the defense to read. Let's check with Reese. All right, thanks, Reese. Alabama trying to put a capper on this one. Up church again, cuts it outside, then cuts it back inside the 15-yard line. And Holly, Nick Saban is not going to accept anything less. Up church being a workhorse. Dives! They're going to mark it inches away. And he looks like he's going to be fine. Certainly hope so. Quarterback keeper, touchdown. And you said it earlier, they're just so good in every department. They will go for two. John Parker Wilson throws to the back of the end zone intended for Walker. Incomplete. Demetrius Morley was there. But did you know that never before has a conference had three different schools who win three consecutive national championships? Powerhouse year in and year out. What a catch. Beautiful grab by Lucas Taylor. I think they got the left tackle, Chris Scott. Holding number 79, yep. offense, 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Remains first half. Colquitt tried to get it to the corner, just sneaks into the end zone. 55-yard kick, but only a net of 35. There are a lot of people that felt like this was a must-win game for Philip Fulmer against Alabama. Coffey knocked out of bounds, but he picked up 13 yards before Morley got him. You're absolutely right about that. Four-man rush, John Parker Wilson throws, and it's going to be a couple of yards shy of the first down. And then we're going to have a late hit on the quarterback at the end of the play as well, a frustration penalty on the Tennessee defense. When Personal <laughs> foul, roughing the passer, number 98 defense, 15 yards, first down. And it takes them five years to build, or they don't succeed at all. So it's, it, it is the rarity yeah. of the situation that people are concentrating on. Up church in a tailback. He'll get the toss. Boy, they cleaned out the left side. And up church is inside the 20. When you run left and you're Alabama, most of the time it's going to work. Up church. 10. Five. Runs over his own man. Jones blocking for him. Down to the four. Up church. Cut back. Touchdown. Todd, you pointed out earlier, Alabama deep at tailback. Yep. They can send one, two, three guys, all of whom seem to have the same kind of ability, slightly different styles, but they can all play. But we've seen it is a long, long season, even if you've only got four or five games left to go. People just lose games when you don't expect it. Well, let's take a look at what Alabama has left. Third and six. Tennessee trying to keep the drive alive. Stevens goes underneath. They'll get a first down down to the 47-yard line. Good throw to Foster coming out of the backfield. They have one of the best 
defensive ball clubs in the country. They want to maintain all of those rankings. Nice take inside the 40 to the 35. The road to the championship in that league runs through Columbus. As good as Penn State has played this year, Ohio State still the team to beat in that league. Blitz against Stevens. Gian Lowe's. That could be interference. Yeah, and the flag comes in. The matching up on routes and matching up on formations. Very NFL oriented. Show blitz again and come with five. Stevens for the corner. That could be a flag. And it is. I mean, the coaches aren't. That's They're still calling blitzes. Number 28, defense, 15-yard penalty, first down. That'll just give the coaches something to work on over for the week. Stevens, little flanker screen. They had a pick and got away with it, and it's a touchdown. Briscoe, a well-designed, well-run play. Good protection, throws too high, intended for Lucas Taylor. We don't know how big it was, and we will not understand it until we got older, and that's exactly right. You know how hard it is to win a championship, for us to go undefeated and beat the Florida State team, that was really, really good. You don't really uh, see how good it was until later on in your life. Third and four for Alabama, and John Parker Wilson comes it's out throwing out Jones. <laughs> First down, they just pick at you. Yeah. They, they just have been methodical. It hasn't been a lot of big plays. It's like poking a bear in the side with a sharp stick. Up church. Had a nice second half. Tennessee trying to do anything it can right now to generate a big play out to the 18-yard line. Seven-yard return after a punt of 38. Offside on the receiving team. Five-yard penalty. First down. So Alabama gets a new set of downs with 429 to go on the fourth quarter clock. <laughs> and and another fresh back. back. That's yeah. right. Let's go to Reese. What does the comedian Ron White say? You can't fix stupid. <laughs> He's absolutely right. And looking forward to a couple of weeks to that up LSU game. That'll be huge. Straight up the middle goes Grant, tripped up. You know, it really is pretty stunning and amazing to think what Nick Saban has done in two years in Alabama. Because we saw this team last year, and they were kind of doing it with smoke and mirrors last year. They had some good players, they had some good pieces, but they were not a, a championship caliber team. And they lost six games, I think, by seven points or less. They, they didn't finish games. And to see them this year, I mean, they are playing at such a higher level on both sides of the ball. It's just, it's remarkable. It really is. And he was telling anybody who would listen, hey, we're not there yet. There are too many holes on this team. Give us a chance to recruit most of our own kids and see what's going to happen. Well, certainly you can see what's going to happen yeah. when he gets another couple of more recruiting classes. It may have already happened. And here's how we roll with Nick. Coach, your team had to put together a good second half tonight. What did you like about their focus and intensity? Well, you know, we wanted to play 60 minutes in the game. I'm really proud of our players. They did a great job. Tennessee's got a great team and a good program, and we really played well in the second half. It's great for our fans. This is a big rivalry. Uh, all the players and people out there that made this tradition and this rivalry what it is, it's great to win, and especially great to win up here. So I'm really happy for our players and our kids. All right. Thanks very much. Thank you.